Welcome back to Stein's Gate. This time we're going back in time a little bit. Well, we're not going back in time, but we are going back to an earlier point in the game because we kind of finished things last time, but not on the main story branch. So we're going back to that time I didn't send an email, and this time we're going to send it, and then Okarin will, again, not go back in time, but will change world lines and... Keep going on his route to save Mayuri and not lose all his friends. So yeah, I'm just gonna send it at the start and then we'll see what happens. So uh, shall we get started? Let's go. Okay, look like 0.45 there. And now we're on to chapter eight. Fractal Androgynous. That is a weird title. Ooh. That's disorienting. <laughs> My head spins. I feel faint. Slowly the world reasserts itself. I have teleported to the lab development room. Faris is standing next to me. Reading Steiner is telling me that the world line has changed. Additionally, the injuries the viral attackers inflicted on my body have vanished. So has the pain. Faris is standing in the centre of the room, looking around. The tears that were in her eyes just a moment ago are gone. Gilbert, do you know where Faris's phone went, yeah? Just a moment ago, Faris was fighting to hold back her tears. But that Faris is no more. In her place is the usual cute, cheerful Faris, with an impish smile on her face. I look at the phone in my hand. It's not my phone, but one with several cute, girly cat doll phone straps attached. Here's your phone. Faris walks up to me with a teasing smile on her face. She pokes at my fingers with her index finger. Kyoma, did you see what was inside, Nya? Faris <laughs> gently takes her phone from my hand. If you did see it, then please forget about it, Nya. Can't let that cat of cat out of the bag, Nya. Or else they will awaken, Nya. Hey. Come on, Kyoma, you're supposed to say something, Nya. Like, who the hell are they or something? I'm sorry. Before we sent the email, Faris said she didn't want to forget. And I lied that she would surely remember. Kyoma's acting weird, nya. You usually act all pompous and nya. I embrace Faris suddenly, pulling her to me as tightly as I can. I'm sorry. Faris remembers nothing. Nothing about her victory at the Raynet tournament. Nothing about our escape from the viral attackers. Nothing about her father riding up in his limousine to save us. Nothing about how we talked alone in her bedroom. Nothing. She remembers nothing. Everything that happened on that world line was undone. What happens to that world line? I don't know. Maybe, like Suzuha said, it still exists as another possible world line. Or maybe it ceased to exist the moment I sent the email. You'd have to be a god to observe each and every world line, so it's pointless to worry about it. But one thing is clear. I can never return to that world line again. Faris can never see her father again. Kyoma, 
れちゃうよ。にゃ。やめ、This is really bold of you, にゃ。Maybe she's in the next room. She'll find out, you know. すまない。I'm sorry. The only thing I can do is apologize. On this world line, Mayuri invited Faris to come hang out at the lab. Apparently, she came to see a costume Mayuri had made. Faris has work after this, so she soon leaves the lab. And I checked, that's the wrong button, and I checked my phone! <laughs> oh, and it's from Mayuri. They had a fight. Katie Chan had a fight with her boyfriend. How do I get them to make up? Mayushi's never had a fight with anyone, so I think it's mysterious. I couldn't fight with the person I like. Okay, let's see the options. So I can say, that's because you're a gentle girl, Mayuri, or... Yes, it is mysterious. Why are people so cruel to each other? Or... Says, when do you have someone you like? I figured you'd put food before romance, lol. I don't know, let's go with mysterious. That one seemed okay. Okay, message. Sent. After seeing Faris off, I head towards Yanabayashi Shrine. On the way, I stop at Shuodori and take a look around. Her back. The Moe stores exist again. Animate, Toranoana, Mandarake, Gamers, Lamtara, Melon Books, Asobit City. They've all returned to the streets of Akiba. There's a gigantic anime themed banner hanging from the soft map building. Maids walk the street, handing out leaflets. Cosplaying girls advertise in storefronts. But the return of this familiar scenery brings no relief to my heart. There is only pain, for everything I see confirms that Faris has lost her father. But I can't stop here. I shake my head and hurry to the shrine. On the way, I notice that the satellite is missing from Rady Khan's rooftop. Of course it is. Zuhar is gone. Thought brings a new pan of- pan? A pan of grief? That's not the phrase. Pang of grief to my heart. Bored this is over? How much more pain will I shoulder? I pass beneath the archway and enter the silent courtyard. I walk up to the main building and jab the intercom. After a few presses, I get a reply. Hi, Dochira san. Oh, Okabe san. Yes, who is. Ah, oh, Okabe san. Lukako comes out. Girly as always, even though he's a guy. Or is he a guy? Which world line are we on? No, wait. This Lukako is a genuine girl. Lukako, you listen to your father. IBN 5100 is an old phone that is here in the background. Lukako, someone should have donated an old computer to the shrine several years ago. Can you ask your dad about it for me? Eh? Old phone? An old computer? I think Lukaku went pale when I mentioned the computer. She lowers her face immediately, so I can't be certain. Um, I'll go call my dad. Lukaku hurries inside. It looks like she knows something. Lukaku's dad soon appears. Well, if it isn't Hoenkun, thank you for taking care of my daughter. I rush the greeting and get down to business. If I'm not mistaken, there was an old computer donated to this shrine about ten years ago. Do you know about it? Hmm. An old computer? Why, yes, I do remember that. Really? Yes, finally! I've returned to the world line with the IBM 5100. I feel like he's already given it away. Please, I need to see it. Oh. Sure, please wait here. 
Luca's dad heads inside the sanctuary in the back. <laughs> Lukako has been silent this whole time. She keeps touching her hair and looking around nervously. Something is definitely wrong with her. Are you afraid of me, Lukako? I mean, is this the world line where he basically assaulted her? Because if it is, like, there's no surprise that she's afraid of him. I understand. I mean, I uh, touched your uh, naughty bits, I guess. Yeah, you did. It was awful. Crap, I just made things more awkward. I didn't have to say it like that. Yeah, that was a really bad way to say it. I don't know if there's a good way to say it. I'm not afraid of you, Okabe-san. That was really embarrassing, though. Sorry. Hey. Okay. By the way, do you know about the IBN 5100? Yeah. No? Lukako shakes her head in an unnatural way. I've never heard of it. But when I called you before, it sounded like you knew about it. Oh, I... Lukaku was looking more and more uncomfortable. Maybe I'm pushing her too hard. I should back off. I did a terrible thing to this girl. So it might be best if I stop treating her as my disciple. I need to treat her like a lady from now on. If I don't, I could get sued for sexual harassment or charged with attempted rape or indecency or something. How exactly do I treat her like a lady anyway? I just treat everyone the same, pretty much. So, uh, you're not gonna wear the costume Mayuri made? Oh, uh, no. Because it's embarrassing? Why is this girl so lacking in confidence? I guess she can't help it if it's in her nature. But didn't she say her reason for becoming a girl was to gain confidence in the first place? And yet, she's a girl now, but she still seems the same inside. That's strange. What did Luca do to the computer? Luca's dad returns. His timing is good. My conversation with Lukaku was, wasn't going anywhere. Did you find it? I try asking just in case, but he looks confused. Obviously something unexpected has happened. Well, I couldn't find it. Couldn't find it? I remember receiving an old computer, but it's not in the storehouse anymore. The IBN 5100 isn't here. I press my hands to my temples and stifle a groan. The world line is still twisted. The IBN 5100 is like a mirage floating in front of me. I can see it, but never reach it. <laughs> Pardon my asking, but the PC was donated by Akiha Rumiho-san, right? Huh? How did you know? Do you know her by chance? 
友達です。Who are friends? ルミホちゃんはとても立派な女性になられましたな。ルミホちゃん has grown up to be a splendid young lady, hasn't she? 彼女がまだ小学生の時でしたよ。執事の黒木さんと一緒にこの神社を訪ねてきてくれましてね。It was when she was still in elementary school. She came to visit with her butler, Kuroki san. しかし、パソコンはなぜ消えたのでしょう誰かに盗まれたかと思いましたが、他のものは手つかずでしたし、宝物殿の鍵は壊されてもいなかったですし。But why did that computer disappear? I thought someone might have stolen it, but everything else is untouched and the lock wasn't broken. This contradicts Lukaku's statement. Lukaku said she didn't know about the IBN 5100. Luka wa nani ka shiranai ka na? Tash ka koko saikin wa mai toshi, nenmatsu no o soji no hini, ho motsu den no soji o shite iru dao? Luka, do you know anything about it? You've been cleaning the sanctuary the past few years, haven't you? Once again, Lukaku hangs her head, almost shaking with fear. Her hands are trembling. Lukaku, do nana? Lukaku, what's wrong? I try asking again. But she doesn't raise her head. I don't know anything. The look on her face betrays her. Lukaku is lying. But why? Remember, she, she shouldn't even know about the IBN 5100. Why does she know? Because the world line changed. There's no other answer. Her d m a i l must be the cause. In Faris's case, I didn't know what her d m a i l was about. But in Lukaku's case, I already know what it is. I want to be a girl. The d m a i l must have had influence beyond Lukaku's sex. The butterfly effect. It somehow changed the location of the IVN 5100. It was like that with Suzuha and with Faris. Can't help but think that the universe itself is keeping the IVN 5100 away from me. At any rate, when Lukaku sent her D mail, reading Steiner activated, meaning the D mail changed the world line. If the IBN 5100 won't return to me on this world line, then my next step is to cancel Lukaku's D mail. In other words, I need to turn Lukaku back into a guy. Ooh, this is a difficult topic. <laughs> Suddenly, I feel dizzy. It's not Heatstroke and it's not reading Steiner. How am I going to explain this to Lukaku herself? Just the other day, When I called Lukaku a guy, she cried. Then Kurisu and Mayuri ganged up on me. Can I get Lukaku to go back to being a guy without stirring up trouble? It's going to be tough. Maybe I should consult someone about this. At first, I considered consulting Kurisu, but I don't think I should talk to a girl this time. Let's think a little. I visit Tenoji's house. The divergence meter is here. I need to know what it says. Cancelling Faris's D mail appears to have raised the value by about 0.05%. Little by little, I'm approaching the goal of 1% divergence. The number gives me courage. Afterwards, Tenoji recounts his memories of Hashida Suzu, just as he did on a previous world line. I stay until he's finished. It's past 6 pm when I get back to the lab. Welcome back, Erin! There are two girls in the lab Mayuri and Kurisu. Who is this Karin? おかえりとおかりんって似てるでしょだからくっつけたら一粒で二度おいしいんだよ。Well, welcome back flows so well into o k r i n doesn't it? When you put them together, it's doubly delicious. おいしくはないだろう。It's not delicious. 対おかりん専用挨拶ってことでいいんじゃないかな
It's a greeting I can only use for Okarin, so why not? Daru. Where's Daru? Probably at May Queen. May Queen. So that's back too. So when Faris said she had work, she meant at May Queen. What about you, Mayuri? You work there too, don't you? Of course I do! You know that, Okarin! You're so weird! Mayushi's taking a break to prepare for Komima tomorrow! Timeline has been corrected, it seems. At least in part. I should stop by May Queen when I have time. I'll visit sometime when Mayuri and Faris are working. I didn't realise it until it was gone, but I think I really like that maid cafe. Karisu's reading a western book. It's the same book as always. It's pretty hefty, so it must take a long time to read. I walk past her and enter the development room. There sits the time leap machine. Today is Saturday, the 14th of August. The first time Mayuri died, it happened on Friday the 13th. After Suzuha's sacrifice changed the world line, Mayuri died on the 14th instead. Her death was delayed 24 hours exactly. If that pattern continues, her death on this world line should occur tomorrow, the 15th. Just to be safe, I should buy a few days with the time leap machine. I'll need time to solve the Lukaku problem. I should time leap right away. Just before entering the lab, I peek into the brawn tube workshop. The 42 inch CRT was on, so there's no problem there. Still, I don't know what that button is. Have I somehow added it? Why is it doing that? Done. Oh, oh right, is that, that's the previous. Sorry, I've changed from using my keyboard to using a controller, so I've, I don't know what the buttons are anymore. <laughs> so I don't remember seeing that sign. Anyway, we'll keep going. It's not ruining anything. Will my Yuri really die on the 15th? I don't have solid proof. Maybe there is no pattern and it's just in my head. Maybe Mayuri dies today. Maybe she dies tomorrow. What I want more than anything is for that to never happen. What happens to Mayuri on this world line? I mustn't let my guard down. Not until the IBN 5100 is back in my possession. At the same time, however, I want to know what happens to Mayuri on this world line. There's still a chance, however small, that she won't die. No, don't hesitate. Hesitation could lead to an ir irreparable mistake. I don't want to see Mayuri die again, to see the light fade from her eyes. It's too painful. So I won't confirm Mayuri's death. I don't want to. All I can do is assume the worst. Retrieving the IBN 5100 is the only sure way to prevent her death. I must not rest until then. I need to time leap now. I can always time leap later. Oh, was that another one that I've missed? <laughs> I put away my phone and take it. Is that what that symbol was? It was like, come on, get your phone out. You can, you can do something with your phone. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it's like, you always miss this. I'm going to give you a hint. Anyway, I missed that. I don't know if that was another branch that I've completely missed, but we'll see. I put away my phone and take a deep breath. I don't want to sacrifice anyone else. I know it's unreasonable, but I want to hope that nothing will happen on this world line. Foolish dream, perhaps, but still. Nothing happens on the 14th. Moeka's group doesn't appear at the lab, and Mayuri doesn't get involved in any accidents. So far, so good. Problem is tomorrow. 
and we're going to leave it there. I don't know if I've somehow missed another rant. Like, honestly, I'm not doing this on purpose. Like, I'm I'm not intending to. I mean, I'm at the point now, like, now that I've done Faris's world line, I feel I may as well do the others. It's a shame I missed the Zuhas, really. But I didn't realise that was an option again just then. I kind of assumed it was just going to do it anyway. So, yeah. We'll leave it there for today, and next time we'll see what happens on the 15th. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>